Hello, Hello guys. guys. So uh, this week we've um, not been working on it too much apart from what you've uh, seen, but we are going to do some technical explanation of what bits we've got so far because we haven't covered it much. You might be hearing us talking about things like navigation board and not actually being able to include what we're talking about, but hopefully in this week you might have some idea. So uh, we're just going to start off with online talking about the error and uh, talking about it. So, what I'm going to talk about today is the Ripple Adder. Basically, what the uh, Ripple Adder does is add two binary one-digit num uh, two binary one-digit numbers, considering the carry. Uh, the binary the binary addition can be easily explained with this uh, diagram right here as a simple XOR. So what this does is if there is an odd number of uh, if there is an odd a number of ones, the output is one. So if you have like one one, if your A is one and B is one, your output would be zero because there is an even number of ones. If you would have had one zero, then there is an odd number of ones, so the output is one. Uh, we need to further expand this to take into consideration carries. So, uh, if you have like uh, introducing a carry, carry in. If you have a carry of this, you could consider this as being a carry of zero. So, if you have like a carry of one, and you would have an a of one and a b of zero, you would have an even number of ones. So your output would be zero. But if you have a carry of 1, an a, a1, and b1, your output would be 1, because you would have 3 ones, so, which is an odd number of ones. The rest of the circuit here is uh, detecting whether there are, there are two out of three, uh, two out of three uh, ones. So if you, you have three possible inputs, uh, a, B, and C, N, and it detects if two of them are ones, then generates a carry out. So if you have a uh, carry in A, B, uh, let's say you have a carry of one, A1, and B0, then you would have two out of three ones, which would output which would generate a carry and would output a um, uh, zero because there is an even number of ones. So the basic idea of the ripple adder and the reason why it's called the ripple adder is that the, the, uh, this carry out propagates uh, further and further. So if you have a setup like this, you, if this is your ripple adder, You would have an A, a B, a C N, which uh, and you would get out is an S, and further a uh, C out, which you could feed in another ripple ladder. So this is a C out, this is a C N, this is an A two and B2. This is S2, this is C out 2. What this does is binary, uh, binary addition of a two digit binary number. So you, it can add numbers, uh, uh, it can add numbers from uh, 0 to 3. Uh, this is the basic idea of the ripple adder. Further expansions of this model can, uh, can introduce the concept of subtraction and uh, can uh, further uh, facilitate the development of a program counter, which uh, Charlie and Sam are going to talk about. These two boards right here are 8-bit ripple adders. And the reason why they look so complicated is because when you, when you get the components, the XORs and the, uh, and the ANDs, you get them in. Uh, uh, you get them arranged like this. So this is an input, input, output, input, input, output, and you need to root to root one's output to the one to the other one's 
one's output to the other one's input, and so on and so forth. The most efficient way uh, to arrange them was use this and uh, uh, these XORs and these ANDs for the first bits, and then route the carry out on this side and use them the same on, on here. Uh, these diodes here basically uh, avoid, basically allow us to avoid having another uh, logic, another logic gate on the board. They act like uh, they act like an, an OR gate. This resistor right here and this resistor right here act like pull down resistors uh, because we are combining logic circuits with analog circuits, and we need a way to say it is a logic zero. This is combined with uh, Charlie's negator board. So when the control line is a zero, we just root uh, what, whatever is in the register. When the control line is one, we root its negated value. So when we do a subtraction, we add a number with its complement. To show that I'm not lying to you, I will now put some values. Right now we only have, we can only display the three bits on the output, so we can show values from 0 to 7. Uh, let's say we want to add, let's say we want to add, uh, I don't know, 3 with the number, uh, 3 with the number 1. These two should be off and this should be on, which means 4. Okay, so let's clock it and you can see these is, uh, the first bit is 0, the second bit is 0, and the third bit is 1. The reason why it flickers is because the connections are a bit unstable.